Today we want to announce that next year will something very special will happen here in collaboration with you guys at day one, with also Maggie, the ambassador of uh, uh, Monaco in Washington, D.C., and we'll do a huge space section here at the Grimaldi Forum, a, a few blocks away, that we'll organize with you. So, Eric, in a few words, what are you doing when, when you're not in space? <laughs> oh, I'm always in space, my, my wife tells me. Um, <laughs> But I'm really excited about this, this partnership that we have with, with Monaco. Uh, the ambassador uh, the U of Monaco to the U.S., uh, Ambassador uh, Doyle, uh, reached out to us and said, you know, how can we partner and, and do more, uh, especially given the, the priorities of the, of the prince uh, and, and this area. And I think it's just a natural fit. And as I've met so many people here today, uh, through day one, um, especially the, the folks uh, that are dealing with the water. What I would like to do is bring the, the practical applications of space. You know, we see rockets, but what are they doing? What are they going up there for? And it's communications, it's linking the world, it's uh, imagery and, and the remote sensing that, that space can provide for that type of imagery to help clean these rivers and help the technologies in the Amazon and, and other areas and refugee camps. And, uh, and that technology is critical worldwide and shouldn't just be held on to by just a few countries. So I'm very excited with the partnership with Monaco. I'm excited to, to spread um, the, the fantastic technology that has been enabled by the commercial marketplace. And it's just an exciting time. I think this is the most exciting time since the Apollo era to be in space. Yeah, plus we had this session with uh, Jen a few minutes ago. She was speaking about the use of satellites and the images that we got to cure and heal the world from and thanks to space. So it's not only to conquer or to do something in space, but it's also useful for the planet. Yeah. Earth, Earth and geoscience. Yeah. Christian, exactly. your turn. My turn. <laughs> well, I'm, um, I uh, am president of SSI, uh, Space Systems International Media here in Monaco. Um, we're a, a company, a small company, with uh, a very big patron, um, and that's Monaco and Monaco Sat. In 2015, with TELUS under construction and SpaceX, we managed to secure an orbital position uh, 36,000 kilometers from the equator on the 52 degree east position uh, for a satellite called Monaco Sat 1, which was uh, the second generation satellite. We're under construction at the moment of a uh, uh, second generation uh, Monaco Sat 2 satellite, which will be even a, a bigger uh, KA satellite broadband, which will be launched in 23 24. On this platform, we uh, intend to work alongside other agencies, NGOs, and foundations to deliver um, informative channels and um, platforms, certainly surrounding the environment. And predominantly here in Monaco, we're very proud that we've been sponsoring an event for the last few years called Pioneers and Innovators of Our Time, where we have astronauts coming down, and uh, it's about inspiring people of today to look at tomorrow with uh, new eyes and look at space as a, a way of accomplishing that. And working in tandem and working with this event, I believe we'll have a, a very exciting event next year as well. Yeah, plus we have so many projects that we discussed backstage, so there will be many things going. So we, we have a video now. Yes, indeed. Yeah. I'd like to leave you with a video from Axiom of uh, Axiom's uh, space mission. Okay, show time. I can sing or dance. Meanwhile, we we'll did it this morning.
Well done, okay. wonderful, and it's <laughs> funny because I was looking at you speaking, and I realized that you really look very much like your father when you speak. So it was impressive because it's not me. It's not you, because as you know, Christian is the son of Roger Moore, the famous James Bond for my generation, and he did Moonraker. So Moonraker. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it, uh, it was impressive. Thank you for being here, Eric and Christian. And uh, next year, in 2023, we can have a space station and do day one in space? Uh, I, I would think 2025. 25. We're, we're going to work hard on More that. or less two years, yeah, that's okay for years. me. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank you very much.